back to Factory Town, where we have a problem with the delivery system. Well, the belt system, um, and it's something I missed completely, and that's that's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, so right here, right here, with all the red Z fighting gun on here, um, this can I get any fuel into it? Because all of the belts are currently full of the packable items. So they've all got beef on them. They've all got beef on them. So we need to change this so that it can actually have fuel on them. Now, we only really need one output for fuel. Um, and that's because uh, obviously one coal goes into here, um, comes fuel, and then that fuel is technically four, worth four. So. You know, it, it doesn't need to be distributed as, as badly, as quickly. So I think we might be able to get away with putting one on top here. And then changing this to be a fuel, which I think would be okay. I should really just use coal. I should really just use coal. Okay, let's just use, just use coal and let's change this as well to be coal rather than be fuel because I'm a little concerned that I'm going to do something one time and there's going to be something that comes into here that could be a fuel that I didn't want to be a fuel. Um, uh, you're going to output fuel. Uh, so that is that's that is any item that is a fuel type. So um, yeah, so let's change that to coal as well because we're going to use coal. Um, it's probably... Using the fuel icon is a good idea because then you can just switch fuels easily. Like we can switch between uh, coal, wood, fertilizer, and magma, which you'll notice magma is a thing there. However, magma is magic based and it's not something we have to deliver because you can actually generate it on site. So I think that's what we'll do with the magma. We'll generate it on site, probably in the gaps between here and share them between the two. So, yeah. So if I do that and then I unpause the game and we let this go for a minute. So you get coal in and then you're going to obviously send the coal around. I think you round robin it. Yeah. Yeah. So it round robin. So it gets a coal in and then it goes one, 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 and then all these get their fuel, which is nice. And you got to remember one coal is worth four fuel. So one output here I means a single coal coming to here um, gets, some, gets um, at least one to each. So, um, but, you know, it, it's um, it's easy, easy distributed. We might have to change that later on if we get to some items that require um, many more, uh, f much more fuel usage. So, like with magic, I think sometimes they want like eight or nine, ten fuel usage. So, okay, um, and you can see this has got a uh, coal and package. So, as I said, this uh, the input slot for the pack the uh, packager uh, will only take one of each type of item it won't take extra beef in and fill up the other slots so it will always deal with four separate items at once so yeah okay so we need to do the same here um but this i'm concerned has gone the other way and has actually filled up all of the outputs with um uh oh so i need to change these as well to not be um they, they need to not be packable items. If we're going to use two different packable items, it can't, it can't be that way. It won't work that way. So if it needs to be fuel, we need to change these bottom ones to be beef. Uh, we only need four beef coming in as well, technically. So um, let's let's redo this. Let's redo this here. Do, 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 like that. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go one, two, three. And let's do... You are going to be set to uh, beef. You are going to be set to beef. You are going to be set to coal. Okay. And then we're going to come up by two. And do the same again. So page down. One, two, three. Beef. Beef. Remember to right click to cancel the thing before I click on another one. So it doesn't link them together. We don't want that. Coal. There you go. And then let's do the same here. And here. Um and not here because it just needs grain so that's a single item so that can just say it's packed items so that's fine um you haven't got anything you haven't got anything either why haven't you got any coal why have you not got any coal oh because 
because I missed. Hold on, hold on. Yep, that's rotated the wrong way. That's why. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm thinking that maybe. Yeah, let's come here and do this as well. Okay. Okay. So remove those. Well, remove those. And then the same here, remove those. Oh, there you go. Okay. And we want to, well, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here and here and here. And I know they're not supposed to be beef, but that's okay. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, so let's come down here. Let's click on the... Wrapper at the bottom of there. Wow. Um, and set that to be grain uh, flour. Okay. And then if I can get my mouse in there and copy that, we'll paste it on top. And we'll come to this side. So this is the bottom one and the top one like that. Okay. Boom. There we go. Right. Okay. Um, so that's all set up evenly anyway. That's fine. That's not a problem there. Okay. So you want to output um, cooked beef. So let's sort this one out as well. Okay, so that means that you are going to be cooked beef, cooked beef, cooked cook chicken, sorry, not beef, cooked chicken. Uh, you are going to output raw chicken. Copy, paste, 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 which means that that one and that one are raw chicken, and that one and that one are raw chicken. Okay, um, and you are going to be, um, I'm going to leave this fuel. Do you know what? We're going to leave this fuel. It's, it's worked here. It's put coal in there. It hasn't converted the coal to fuel anyway. So it has worked there, so that's fine. That's not a problem. Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to actually um, do this. Um, uh, go with the grabber. Uh, needs a support block. It has a support block. Oh, yeah. Page down. Boop. 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 And then this wants to be... Come. And I am going to change the center to car as well. I'm, I'm going to, we're going to go with the exact thing that we're using. When we come to magma, we can just change it to magma. Won't be difficult. Won't be difficult to do at all. Okay. Boom. There you go. Uh, and this one is going to be fish. So uh, you want to output raw fish. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Down here. Paste and paste. Paste and paste. This one wants to be cooked fish. We'll have to keep an eye on the speeds. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, and this wants to be filtered to be coal, and this wants to be filtered to be coal, and there we go. Okay, so now they should all be able to input their things correctly and do the things they want to be doing, and everything will be hopefully fine with that. Um, okay, you're getting coal in. This is fine. You are you are bubbling away and cooking away and awesome. But um, whether this is going to be enough to actually supply our entire town with everything we want to do, I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? We know how many houses we're going to have. We know how many houses we're going to have because we're going to have... Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, uh, no, hold on, hold on. Uh, do we need one on the outside there? Or do we just want it on the internal ones? Um... I think we just want on the internal ones. Let's try and get all the houses um, to here. Let me let me see where, where do I want to put all the houses. So I don't want to do that and we'll do that and that. Okay, let's grab you. Let's put you there and put you there. Move you over to that one. Grab another ten house. Put you over there. Grab another 10 house. I do apologize if anything goes really bizarre with the mic sounding thing going on there. Um, our washing machine vibrates the entire building. Um, uh, well, not the entire building, but it, vib it, vib it vibrates. And uh, sometimes that comes through the mic. So if my voice sounds a little wacko, that's why. That's why. More wacko than usual. Um, oop. don't need these connecting roads, but I just want to put them in there because I think it makes the thing look better. 
There we go. Boom. Okay. Uh, and then we want to copy this one there. That one there. And I think that's all we need. But yeah, I don't actually need that one on the outside there as well. But how many houses do we need to get this to be level a level 10 town center? So it's now currently a level 9 town center. What do we need to get level 10? We need 500 linked houses. Okay, that's... Uh, what does it currently got? 100... 160? Huh? Wait, it needs 500? That's 50 houses. That's 50 houses to get to level 10. So these are worth 10 each, right? No, they're worth... How many houses have you got connected to you? Can I find out? Is there any way to find out in here? I'm sure it tells me. Uh, 16 houses, 160. So if a house at level 10 is a... That means to get to level 10 at Town Center... You need 500? Is that right? Yeah, and it, and it, you, you would need 50 houses connected to a town centre. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Um, yeah, we, we're not doing that. I'm not doing 50 houses connected to that. That's, that's madness. That is utter madness. I do wonder what, you, what we can get to with 16 houses um, connected to it. So let's uh, get a new town centre in, shall we? What's this? What is one? This one's 260 to get to level 8. Ah, so this isn't even correct for that. So what level are you technically at now then? Let's see. Uh, you are technically at 60%. I would love to get you up higher, but that's not going to be actually doable. It's not going to be actually doable for us. So, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So technically, um, this is the layout we need for the houses um to do this for 16 houses we could put more in uh we could put uh let's let's grab some more let's grab some more let's put the houses in so one there see but i'm looking at this i'm going that's it that's all we need every place has got the center covered and it doesn't even need the center covered to be entirely honest with you it really doesn't so um because in the center is only the uh the, the story it doesn't, it doesn't need it um places where there are farms and things definitely will need it but for the majority of our production which will be this layout we don't need that we only need one two three four five six twelve houses in each in each place realistically Mm. Yeah, we only need 12 houses, realistically, in each place to cover... Um, well, actually, uh, no, yeah, we, we, we don't need any houses, technically, to cover it. But the more houses we put there, the better the, uh, the up. So let's, let's, uh, let's try and... Grab more... I don't... I don't... See, if I have the, ha the town centre up like that and run the belts underneath it, I don't really want to put a house up against there. That makes sense. It doesn't... <laughs> hmm. All right, let's just put the house in. It doesn't matter where they are. It really doesn't matter where they are. So long as they're, they're in the centerpieces there. They could also sit actually here and give even better coverage. Um but that would uh that wouldn't, that wouldn't change anything. They could literally sit in the center. It wouldn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, get more houses, get more houses. This one's under here. Um one there. Let's just put one in each um slot. Uh, and I'm trying to get level 10 houses, so one there here maybe one there there nope slump of milk there and there okay and that should be that we could put ones on the end as well uh there but i kind of want to put it on the inside here like this so boom, there you go 
Okay. And what does that take us to? Does that take us to 70%? Let's take us to 80%. Okay. And that is connected. Uh, how many connected houses is that? Uh, I'll click on the kitchen, not the... <laughs> uh, 260. Okay. That's 26 houses. Yeah. So it's 10 per house. We need 50 houses to get to level 10. Oof. Oof. We may do that somewhere and have the 50 houses and just upgrade the town center to level 10 um, just to extend its range all the way. Although level 9 ones do cover the entire area, so we're fine for that. Um, but um, yeah, I might, I might just up because you can put a town center in, upgrade it to level 10, and then bring it out again. It's fine. Um, but this is currently level 8. And that is 26 houses. We could put two more in and have 30 houses per go, but that's really awkward with the trains here because these that's that becomes very awkward with the trains. So so um Yeah, we'd have to run stuff up and over the top of things and down and under and that's that's yeah, it becomes it becomes exceedingly complicated to do. So um I wanna look on it leave the end ones out. Um Mm. And uh, we could move the houses, as I said, into like the center places, um, like this. That technically covers every single tile um, in the town. See, if we move into the center, they cover, it covers every single tile. Um, so if we, if we, shall we go with twenty six? I'm not sure. What, what do you think? Should we go with twenty six? Should we go with less? Um, I mean, the higher we go, the more we get there. I'm not sure what actual level 8 requirements are. Um, this is level 10, 7 town center. That's 260. So 260 is exactly 26. So that's level 8. So that's, that is exactly level 8 town center. Okay. So if we brought this one over to here, um, we could upgrade this, this one to a level 8. Let's do that just briefly to show you what I mean. Uh, so put that one there. Bomb. It can be upgraded. Bomb, it has 260. Bomb, but it can't go any higher because it needs 360 for level 8. For level 9. Okay. And it can be specialised into processing. There we go. Okay. And that doesn't quite, if you look at the area, doesn't quite cover enough. Um, it kind of does. It's kind of, it's, it is technically enough to get everything we need. Um, plus, if we move the houses out, it's enough to do it as well. Um, but it's not quite there. We need to get to level 9, really. So I'd like to upgrade them all to level 10 town centres. Um, and then uh, have them move them over. Just to get the radius. I won't get the bonuses. Because we're only going to go to level 8, apparently. So, so 26 houses. 26 houses is where we're going to go. Okay. Um... So, uh, I think so. I don't know. Should we put them in the center like this? Should we put them on the ends? Um, I think the center would actually be nicer for the, uh, for the, the, the ones that live down here, at least anyway. And it also wouldn't be too difficult to, um, work around them if they're in the center. Not that we can work around them at all. These these rows don't really ever get used. Um, sometimes they will. Sometimes they will if we like like here. Well, we're living over the top, so that's not so bad. So what if we did this? Okay. The only thing that means is that down here, this doesn't technically get completely covered, but it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be. So. There we go. 100% coverage with two little bits down here. I said we can put one here, one here, one here, and one here, but that would really make life awkward for the trade stations coming in. So, yeah. Trade stations also don't benefit from a town tent, so we don't need them involved with the town. They don't benefit anything from that, so that's fine. So, so okay. 26 houses. 26 houses times 8. 26 times 8 is 208 houses we'll have in total. We will do some editing somewhere to get our 208 houses. Don't worry about that. We'll change the settings that so every town can have 26 houses. Um, so we're going to have 208 houses in total. Um, see, here's the only one where it's awkward to put them in the middle. 
um but that doesn't matter because they're still getting the bonuses anyway from this we can always move these ones out um and just have those ones in the center and then yeah so so 208 so let's have a look see at what let's let's go with cooked beef so we're running cooked beef at the moment aren't we so cooked beef here boom so the consumption time is 60 seconds and the happiness duration is 90 seconds so that is uh two and a half minutes 260 yeah two and a half minutes um to do that so we need to um give one uh we need to give one cooked beef to every house in the entire world 208 houses every two and a half minutes so um Hundred and fifty seconds. Let me see. How much do we need? How many would we need to produce a second then? So if it's if it's one hundred and fifty seconds, what? So two hundred and eighty divided by one hundred and fifty. Two hundred eight divided. Is, um, we only need to produce one every one point three eight six. What well, one one every every one point four seconds. One and a half seconds. We need to produce a beef. A beef. Currently. They get one every five seconds. I'm ignoring the processing bonus because that's always a bonus on top. So I'm ignoring that. Uh, they produce one every five seconds. Now we do have a bit of a population bonus here and we will get more as we start feeding the beef to them because because that's just how it works. We will get, we, as, as we start feeding the town, our happiness has dropped because obviously I've taken all these towns away and they no longer have any happiness bonus at all. So, yep. Um, so if we work on that principle, um, and we want to produce one every uh, one and a half seconds. I'm going to say so. It's 1.1. 1 .1, actually, we need to produce one every 1 1.4. Can't round up. Got round down, haven't I? So we're producing. We're currently producing. Um, ignoring all the happiness bonus things, we're producing um, uh, four divided by five. Um, well, well, well. What did I push there? Um, sorry, five divided by four. That round, because um, it's five seconds, and there are four bubbles here. So instead, so if we had five, it'd be one a second. But we're producing one every one point two five seconds, and we need one every one point three eight six blah 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 seconds. So we're good. This is enough to run our two hundred eight. Am I getting that right? I, I always double question the math when I do things because I get I get. <laughs> I'm. I'm the mathematics are fine the numbers are fine you know the, the the sums are fine it's the initial numbers that i put in i tend to miss particularly when i'm converting things to seconds and stuff i get i get i get mixed up with things i tend to focus on the wrong stuff and when i focus on something that's wrong i'm adamant that that's the correct numbers and it's not completely so so this produces one ignoring the production bonus and ignoring this here this produces one beef every five seconds so two three four every five seconds Okay, so that's four every five seconds. So that is one every one point two five seconds. So we take how the time five seconds divided by how many we're making four. That's one point one two five seconds, and we need to deliver two hundred to two hundred and eighty houses once every hundred and fifty seconds, which is one point one three eight six seconds um so yes this is enough to deliver to our entire population fantastic fantastic okay just the ones enough and it works providing it's getting enough beef and coal in at all times to run okay so yeah i don't know why the uh, house little uh population see the little uh population symbol pops up and you have to mass over it to get rid of it I don't know what that's at, but yeah. Okay. Okay, so now what we need to do is deliver this to everywhere. So we need to come out of here, go down to here, put a station in, have a station pick up, but then we need to build our distribution system. I don't know what's happened here. Um oh you don't matter. You you are you 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 can actually go now. Yep.
um, because we need to deliver the goods. So we've got a distribution here where we're delivering goods to the, uh, the town here. But we're going to need another one where we deliver goods to the town that gets sold. And I was thinking of doing it on this edge here, but then I've kind of realized that I can't do that. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Because the edge around the track between the two towns is never used for delivery. So if I did a track here, I did a, um, a little, little, uh, um, so like a station, a train station here. Doesn't matter where we forget. Um, and we filtered you to each and every different type of food. So you only need 200 of each type of food. You don't, you don't, it's not even type of food, the distribution that we're doing. Um, and then we went, say, um, and connected this station to a food, um, uh, I was going to say a food market. What's it called? It's, it is called a food market. It's literally called a food market. The food market would have to be on the inside there, like that. This I'm going to put here. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're going to put it there. We're going to have one for each type of, of thing. So um, we need. So let's stop with the food market. Uh, how many? How many different things are there? Hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. General store, tavern, apothecary, oh, wrong one. Speciality goods, and school. Like that. So they're all delivery ones. So we'd have a train station connected to each of these. Now I can't do that because of the way our trains come down. And connect to things so we'll have to spread these out a little bit more um which is going to be actually way more difficult than it seems um because if i move that out to there i don't think it is still connected awesome move that one out to there that's fine but then these two can't move into the center so um and our train tracks will come down and uh do the wiggly thing not they would have to do the wiggly thing because they should come down drop off and go again there will be no hold we're going to have like a train that just distributes round and goes round in, in, in circles. And we'll have one train per thing, but it just, it just keeps, they keep looping. Um, I have to figure this out. I have to figure this out, the delivery of this one. So, um, using our standard delivery thing won't really work for us, will it? So we'll do, we'll do that. Boom. And the next one will be there. Well, maybe it will. So I've got enough tracks for this, so we can figure this out at three. And what if I did that? Left a small, tiny gap, and then went... Actually, let's go to here. One, two, and three. That is, that is, yeah. Okay, so we move you over by two, and we move you over by two, and then we get a train station, and we put one there, 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 and there. Let me move you over by one. Uh, oh. Let's change you to be uh, unload. But don't like that. Okay. And then you will have whatever general goods we need to sell here. Because we're not selling all of them. We're going to send sell a certain set of them. So to get the full happiness bonus from this one here. Um... We don't need to sell half these things. Okay, we're not going to sell. We're literally going to sell three. We're going to sell cooked beef, cooked chicken, and cooked fish. And that is enough to get your basic food happiness going, because you only need six. Um, there are obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and only one, two, three, four, five, six delivery places. So some of them will have to double up for more, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So, yeah. So how am I going to do this? Um, I tell you what, I'll have a think about it, and we'll come back next episode, and we'll try and figure it out. We'll deliver beef, and it needs to go round things. Might even put an extra rail in for it. Might even put a dedicated rail in for uh, distribution. So, but anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.